Let's solve one previous question of mathematical logic. This question was asked in GATE CS 2017 set 1 question number 2. Consider the first order logic sentence f is for all x there exist y r of x y assuming non-empty logical domain which of the sentence below are implied by f and four sentences are given and four options are given. It is asking implied by f. If for all x something is true then that should be true for there exist x means for all x implied there exist x. If all are going to swimming pool then let person x is also going to swimming pool. Means one statement is true for all means that is also true for some. So for all x implies there exist x. And if same quantifier like for all x, for all y, that we can switch. Means this is equivalent to for all y, for all x. But if for all x there exist y, this is not equivalent to there exist y for all x. If both quantifier are same, we can switch. If both quantifier different, we cannot switch. And from universal quantifier, we can imply existence of quantifier. But from existence of quantifier, like there exist x, it's not implied for all x. If for some people it is true, it's not that for all it is true. Now check this statement. First statement, there exist y, there exist x, r of x, y. Here it's given for all x. There exist y r of x y. So from all x we can imply there exist. If for all true means for some it is also true. So from this we can write there exist x. There exist y r of x y. Now both quantifiers are same. When both quantifiers are same we can alter the position. We can switch the position. So we can write there exist y, then there exist x, r of x, y. We can alter the position. This is in sentence 1. So we can say sentence 1 is true. From all x we can derive there exist x, then we can alter the position. Next statement 2, there exist y for all x, r of x, y. Here the position is switched. Like for all x come here and there exist y come here. When both quantifier are different, we cannot switch it. We cannot alter the position. If we alter the position, then meaning will be changed. This is false. We cannot switch different quantifier. Next statement 3. For all y, there exist x, r of x, y. So for all x to there exist x, then there exist y to for all y. So from there exist, we cannot imply for all. If for some people it is true, doesn't mean for all it is true. So here from there exist y, we cannot imply for all y. We cannot derive universal quantifier from existential quantifier. But we can derive existential quantifier from universal quantifier. Here as universal quantifier is implied from existential quantifier. So this is false. Next statement 4. Negation of there exist x for all y. Negation of r x y. Now we take this negation inside. So this existential quantifier will change to universal quantifier. So for all x, negation of for all y, negation of r of x, y. Now again we will take this negation symbol to inside. So it will be for all x. Now this universal quantifier will change to existential. So it will be there exist y. The negation of negation r of x y. So negation of negation it will be simply r of x y. And this is same as this f. So you can say both are equivalent. Here we just add negation. When we are simplifying 
then we are getting the same thing as f fourth statement is true we found statement 1 is true statement 4 is true while statement 2 is wrong statement 3 is wrong statement 2 is wrong as we cannot switch the position statement 3 is wrong we cannot derive universal quantifier from existential quantifier so answer will be 1 and 4 only it's present in option b so answer is option b 1 and 4 statement are true i already discussed quantifier just go through the lecture and if this lecture is helpful for you please like share and subscribe thank you